Hello everybody. In this video we are going to show how to integrate the Pacnet web services running on a Dingo device with a browser-based programming tool called Node-RED. For this demonstration I have installed Node-RED on a Dingo device. The install process is documented in the link that appears on the screen now. We are then going to read data via the Pacnet web services on another Dingo device that is locking temperature values in my office via one wire sensor. In this demonstration we will be focusing on reading data from my trend log. We are going to start by entering Node-RED in the browser. And on this empty flow we are going to add a inject node. The inject node will be responsible for starting the data retrieval. Then we're going to add a HTTP request node that is going to communicate with the BACnet web services on the other Dingo device. Then we're going to add the path that points to the trend log that we're going to read from. I'm going to use a path that gets data that is older than a date that is 100 years in the future. And I only want 360 values. And I want the data in JSON format. This will always give me the latest 6 hours of data. Let us connect the nodes. I'm going to add a debug node so that we can see if the process is working so far. We go to the debug window and deploy our flow. And we can see that we are receiving some data. Now I want to display this data on a dashboard, so I have added a node package to my Node-RED installation, which is called Node-RED Dashboard. From this package I'm going to add a chart. This chart does not quite understand the data that I'm receiving from the BACnet web services. So, I need to add a function node that will help me format the data to something that the chart understands. Let us call it formatting. And insert the script that I've done beforehand. The script contains a label and will go through all the data and pick out the timestamps and values and wrap this information into arrays. Now let us connect the function to the debugger to see what happens. We deploy the changes and we will take care of the chart later. We see that we have an object with arrays that contain the label and some time series data. Let us throw away the debugger and add it the chart. We add a group and tab for the dashboard where the chart be placed. Let us enlarge the space for the chart.
let us edit the X axis where the timestamps are presented. And finally, let us connect the data to the chart. Let us deploy the changes and look at the dashboard. We see the last six hours of data from the trend log presented in the chart. We will change the inject node to run repeatedly every one minute and thereby get the last values as they are added to the trend log. So that is it. We have Node-RED running on a Dingo device reading trend log data from another Dingo device via the BACnet web services. I hope you learned something from this video. Goodbye for now.